Hola, buenos dias. So for this video, we're going to look at how to express obligation in Spanish in two different ways. The first one is using tener que plus an infinitive, and the second one will be using hay que plus infinitive. So let's start by looking at the tener que first. In order to do this, we need to know a couple things. One, the conjugation of the verb tener. It is on the screen there on the right, so it is tengo, tienes, tiene, tenemos, tenéis, and tienen. If you have yet to learn the ver verb tener, I do have a video on that. If you download or open the document that is on the screen, which is available via a link in the description of the video, this uh, blue right here will be a link and can take you to a video lesson on tener if you want some more information about that. So we're going to use this to talk about what somebody has to do. The verb tener has, when you conjugate it, it has the person or the subject built into the verb. So I have two examples for you, unos ejemplos. Tengo que correr would be I have to run. And tenemos que escribir is we have to write. One common mistake that my students make when using this is they have a tendency to try to conjugate this second verb right here, the infinitive. And by definition, an infinitive is an unchanged or unconjugated verb. If you did do that, for example, if I put correr in this first sentence into the O form, which is corro, it would sound like I have to, I run, which does, doesn't make any sense in Spanish or English. So do not change that second verb. The second concept is using I, K plus an infinitive. So I by itself means there is, there are, but in the phrase I, K, it's kind of like saying one must. So this is going to be used for general obligations and it's not tied to a subject like yo, tu, nosotros, for example. Um, I gave you a couple examples here. So the first one is, I que estudiar para sacar una buena nota. One must study to get a good grade. This is might be used in an example like maybe you're new to the school and you asked your friend, hey, what do you have to do to get a good grade in Mr. Mills' class? What you're asking that person is not what do you have to do, but just in general, what does a person have to do to get a good grade? And this is when you would use the IK. And just the other example is IK lava la ropa antes de usarla. So it's kind of like saying you have to use, you have to wash the clothes before uh, the clothing before using it. Uh, but again, it's not tying it to a specific person, but just in general. That's it for this video. Again, if you want the document, it is available to you in the description of the video. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.